Hello, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Ji, I know. Pakhair Agale ni hamach. Mene shum me wash mele ho hai. Gonzaimas Privet. And thank you very much for tuning into PT while you watching World this morning alongside Shazad Khan. And look who's back. Maha, hello, Maha. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I am back. Thank you for the very nice comeback as well. Yeah, I'm struggling to talk as well. <laughs> it's I miss you guys right. too, actually. Like working yeah, is did you? working is sanity sometimes, isn't it? And not working can be. No, but we are we are glad that you're back thank and you. we are glad that you're doing fine now. Yes. Alhamdulillah. On the road it's to always recovery. a pleasure to have you right next to me yes. on the couch as well. Yes. Absolutely, and it's always a pleasure to be here. I hope you guys have been well this week. Absolutely fantastic. It has been a team of two boys. Yeah, I know. You guys have been doing a <laughs> great job. This was former producer. Yeah. yeah, you guys have been doing a great job. I've been watching you live every day. Yeah. But uh, today we have a very special show, don't exactly. we, Shazad? So tell us a little bit about what we're discussing. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what we're doing today is that we have actually gathered people over here within the studios who are mentors, who are teachers, and who actually know what art is. Mm, exactly, and you know, we have people who have been doing um, a lot of work, who have been representing the field, they've been representing themselves and the country, not just on a national level, on an international level, and it's been recognized by everyone, and we're very lucky actually to have um, the guests here that we have today. And then before we get started with the conversation as well, ladies and gentlemen, there's a photographic art exhibition which will be held at Comsat's Art Gallery. Yes. The name of the event is Eye of the Beholder, and it is by somebody whom we are going to introduce just in a while. Exactly, and this person is very well renowned. You will, a lot of, I think, our viewers, especially abroad, will know who we're discussing right now and who will, we will be in discussion no, with. No, but something which is very amazing is yes. that he's a former inspector general of police and he's an artist. Wow. Exactly. These you are can two different both. things. And we're going to find out all of this information, how this happened, wh wh how it came about. And so let's, should we start our discussion? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's so uh, this uh, gentleman has got the President Pride of Performance for Art Photography. He has been doing solo exhibitions uh, since 1987 internationally. He has over 130 international awards, uh, including from the photo Photographic Society of America. It is none other than Semi Ar Rahman. Asalaamu Alaikum. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Um, you very much. Besides, sir, we have been very lucky. We've been joined by Razak Vance, who is a professor, but he has also um, been on the National Geographic uh, stock photographer, has multiple international awards and medallions. Asalaamu Alaikum. Good morning. Thank you so Good much morning. for joining us. Good morning. And the person who actually gave us access to these two gentlemen and who's a creator herself, yes. none other than Ms. Farah Mehmood. Hello, ma'am. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Alaikum salam. I'm good. Thank, Thank you very much for coming over. I always love your smile. You know, it's always there, even if it's early in the morning or yes. late night or whenever. You're just like this. Have Thank pleasure. you very much once again for coming over. <laughs> so, before we get indulged in our conversation, <laughs> former Inspector General, police, and a photographer and an artist, how does it work hand in hand? You make it sound like uh, I am a bull in a china shop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think uh, there are uh, very talented uh, police officers uh, uh, who've taken to the finer arts. Uh, one of my mentors, uh, uh, Aftab Ahmad Khan, uh, he was a retired uh, SSP from Sehala, and uh, he used to be uh, our teacher both for. Uh, forensic science as well as photography wow. and he also got uh, he was the first one to get uh, an art photography pride of performance way back I think uh, in 2001 or something like that mm -hmm. so I mean uh, there are people who sing there are stamp collectors uh, you name it I mean uh, the police uh, is no exception uh, we all come from the same... The uh, culture is there. Yeah, I mean, we are part of that. Very nice. And uh, it just, just happens that uh, one is in the police department, uh, the other goes to another field. Yeah. So, uh, nothing very but sensational <laughs> about this. I take it in a regular course of things. Okay, wonderful. I, I mean, make it, it's very natural to have a creative outlet as well as uh, something a bit more kind of to the line, yeah. but how did you get into it? Let's start from your story, because it's a, it's a very interesting story. It's a long story. Uh, <laughs> well, that's why we're here, we've got yeah, time. To listen to that. <laughs> but uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, you need to say something, something, uh, you know, from within yourself, uh, makes you speak uh, or feel, uh, you know, <laughs> Uh, or perhaps it's the artistic uh, twinge that you feel at some point in time in your life. Yeah. 
uh, th that makes you, you know, uh, work for uh, something where you want to express yourself. Uh, police uh, perhaps uh, has other methods of uh, expressing. Uh, expressing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think I um, took a decision almost uh, rather late in life. Uh, it's just 30 years ago now that I started photography at about the age of 38, 40. Mm -hmm. Before that, uh, I had absolutely no clue what photography was all about. Uh, but uh, I tried my hand at painting. Uh, I was a miserable flop. My wife is a painter. Okay. She tried to teach me, uh, couldn't uh, do anything. And then suddenly I met somebody who's a photographer, well-known, renowned photographer. He was teaching at uh, NCA Miami Jeet, uh, late. And um, with him, uh, we uh, sort of uh, used to go out uh, uh, on uh, expeditions, uh, you know, I was a newcomer to this, so I was just watching him uh, take pictures. Okay. And that, uh, after a while, I felt uh, perhaps I can do it. And then I happened to meet other people, and they said, well, they encouraged me a lot. They right. said, you know, you are taking right. good pictures, so continue with this. And that's how, you know, one thing led to another. Okay. And, uh, 130 was in total, wow. That's amazing. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, that's something to be actually, you know, we, we should be clapping on that. Exactly. Well. Very Thank nice. You. But let's just move on to Razak Sahib now as well. So Razak Sahib, what's your story? What's your background? Uh, basically, um, I'm from a rural background in a small city. Still Everybody teaching here. Everybody I am too. <laughs> I'm proud of that. <laughs> Uh, just when I graduated from Government College Lahore, I was lucky to hear about uh, Sir Samir Rahman and, uh, and again lucky to have uh, a small meeting with uh, uh, Sir Mayor. Back in the Remember, days. Back in the days, back in 1995 or six, wow. perhaps. That was a toddler. So, <laughs> we were crazy about art and photography and uh, uh, Samira Mansa has established a, a society in these uh, days, photographer of Australia, Pakistan. Wow. And he was president, still he is president. Mm -hmm. And now, for him, for him, I am vice president. Okay, <laughs> great. So, uh, I have some, I, I remember I have some pictures with mm -hmm. me. And I have started uh, teaching in college as a professor, mm. and uh, I took these pictures to uh, Sir uh, Sami, and uh, I was very uh, uh, happy that uh, I have made some masterpieces. Mm -hmm. But what happened? Uh, uh, Sami Sahib uh, uh, saw these pictures one by one, one by one, and I remember uh, 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 the uh, the exact uh, words. Uh, mm. uh, uh, of Sami Sahib. Oh, these days, uh, mm, these pictures may be a masterpiece for your class uh, mm. students, but these are not, these are not worth for the international uh, uh, competitions. Okay. So, uh, but uh, he again sa said another uh, mm. uh, sentence, which perhaps make me a photographer like that. He said, "You are like a diamond, uncarved." Okay. You need carving. You are a diamond, but you yeah, need you carving. Need so that what happened. I go back to my home and uh, started photographing uh, in the lines of directions uh, that gave to me with a very basic uh, uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. I was. And saying. that's what you call eye of the beholder, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And uh, what happened that in the next exhibition, I participated and got uh, a prize. Wow. Excellent, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So, okay. And there was the starting and uh, things carry on. And in, then you've been doing great work since, and we will discuss that and we will be seeing more images in a moment. Mm -hmm. But I want to just uh, bring Farah into the conversation. Um, what was, What is the importance of having this exhibition? Why do we need to be discussing this today? Um, actually, um, Comsac's art gallery was, uh, we used to exhibit paintings and many other yes. visual art forms. and uh, Which we covered last year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and when I saw his profile and uh, we, we, were, we were really amazed that we should um, 
give him a chance of solo exhibition for the actually for the awareness of uh, photography as uh, he's um, not uh, an artist or designer but mm. he's into photography mm. and uh, basically for the exposure of Comsets University students mm -hmm. so many people they used to come and even from yesterday uh, the students are coming and appreciating his work and when they they came to know about his uh, profile so they, they were like completely you know surprised wow so yeah that's that's what i went through as well because ladies and gentlemen obviously will be sharing his work with you guys but then at the same time you know this invitation which i got i've got a small booklet as well it has got some amazing pictures in it exactly which i'm not going to show you because we'll show you in a while but ma'am you know since you're a curator yourself so if i ask you to define what you do in 100 words exactly how would you do it it's a lot of words, actually. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of words. It's a lot of words. Yeah. Like an essay. Okay, let's make it. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm basically, confident. I'm basically an artist, and for artists, hundred words are like, you know, a picture is worth a thousand, thousand words. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you, that's very well covered, though. So you can but yeah. that does not answer my question. Curation is a big challenge. It's not easy. People think that um, uh, I'm not professionally a curator, but I'm a, a miniature artist. But I learn, learned a lot uh, by curating and organizing exhibitions. At um, uh, concerts, and we have been doing um, uh, exhibitions of uh, local artists mm -hmm. and many international shows. Mm -hmm. We have been dealing with different embassies, mm -hmm. and they all were like uh, feeling very much relaxed, and uh, they appreciated our efforts a lot. Being even curator and being uh, the gallery in charge, they really appreciated the way we can uh, we uh, arrange our exhibitions and we promote our shows. Basically, it's the, for the promotion of art and culture. Absolutely, and, and it's a very important. Like you said, I just want to highlight uh, the fact that you know we have people who are experts who are doing a great job, and it's very important that our youth, especially the students, so the new artists, exactly. the new photographers, know about people like yourselves. Um, and it was 156 words in person. Okay, I'm, I'm sure <laughs> you didn't count it. But sir, I'd like to come back um, to you. Um, you decided to sh go, go into photography and you've taken your work all over the world. Um, how was it received? Because you obviously started much later on in life, as you said, and yeah. I'm sure the reaction within Pakistan was very different as well, and then the reaction outside yeah. of Pakistan. Were they similar? Were people as supportive? What, what was the situation? And was it just you representing Pakistan on those international platforms as well, or were there other people? Uh, when I started uh, uh, delving into this uh, art form, uh, there used to be only about uh, a dozen art photographers. Oh. And uh, one of uh, <coughs> who would uh, uh, participate internationally, that okay. is. Locally, of course, there have always been uh, lots of photographers. And one of the uh, great photographers of our times was uh, late uh, Nisar Mirza, who was associated uh, with the, the Pakistan yes. television. Yes. Uh, he was the chief cameraman at one time. Also, a pride of performance. Uh, so and we would, uh, you know, uh, about a dozen of us uh, participate internationally from where we got all these awards. Mm -hmm. Locally, yes, there were people and they were very keen photographers. But things have evolved and they have changed uh, dramatically uh, for the past uh, five or six uh, years, ever since uh, we've had uh, uh, Facebook and we have invented, uh, you know, uh, other social, social media, media uh, outlets and now everybody is a photographer mm -hmm. practically speaking because everybody <laughs> carry, carries a mobile phone and uh, they're giving uh, you know uh, great uh, results and you know putting them up so now as we were discussing earlier uh, there's no need uh, for any uh, lessons mm -hmm. uh, to be learned by the youngsters but the the fact of the matter is that, uh, you know, uh, if you have to pursue it as, a, as an art uh, uh, form and not only as a hobby, yeah. <coughs> then you need to know the basic rules, exactly. you know. Okay. But we are still looking for one of the amazing selfie cameramen as well <laughs> because I think we haven't found one as of yet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, carry please. Uh, so, over uh, all these years, uh, uh, one felt, uh, you know, uh, that the youngsters uh, should be uh, given some lessons. So I formed this society, which uh, Razaksa was uh, referring to. And uh, then I also started, uh, you know, teaching uh, youngsters in Lahore. 
and I was running these uh, three months courses, mm -hmm. not uh, in any way making money uh, out of it, but uh, primarily to pass on uh, yeah. the knowledge that I uh, had because I had no formal uh, lessons from any mm -hmm. place. Because unfortunately, there's, there's hardly any uh, institute where you can go and learn photography. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, uh, there was there were none. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. these days uh, people have. Yeah. But, but I, then, I, sir, I, at yeah. the same time, sorry, okay. very sorry Fine. for that, but I just had it in my head, and okay, that is that you know, uh, an artist obviously has a role to play within the society, That's true. and the only tool I think with which they communicate is exhibitions as well. True. Mm -hmm. So, what do you share with all of those amazing people who are going to come over? onto this exhibition, what are you sharing? Obviously your masterpieces are there, but you have to say everything about you know, all of those pieces which are being there. You see, uh, uh, the way I have uh, contributed uh, towards this art form is that for the last uh, 25 to almost 30 years now, I've held uh, 25 to 30 national exhibitions in Lahore, Islamabad, here in the PNCA, at British Council, NCA Lahore, various uh, other places. Uh, where I was not uh, even uh, exhibiting my work, but I was collecting work from the youngsters mm -hmm. and putting them up uh, uh, in the exhibitions Great. to give them a platform, to give them an opportunity to display their work. Yeah. So that is uh, uh, one way that I was uh, you know, uh, trying to do my little bit uh, for the for the art form for the community mm -hmm. besides that uh, in the last uh, eight years or so i've produced uh, eight coffee table books yeah. so far and uh, three of them relate to uh, photography uh, work collected from youngsters mm -hmm. from all over pakistan and i've them i've put them in in the form of a book now so you've so been sharing it with people I've been sharing it with people, oh, sure. and uh, that's my little bit that I've uh, done for this. That's Great. And bit actually, that's, that's a lot, <laughs> and that's one of my questions. I was going to come onto the coffee table books in a little while, but I'd like to move on to Razak Saab. Um, we were talking about the new students and the fact that, you know, uh, the new phones and the new gadgets, everyone's DSLR. a photographer. DSLR. <laughs> and, oh, it's DSLR these oh, days. DSLR. Um, <laughs> so people don't need lessons. but. Um, as someone who works with the students, as someone who's a professor as well, how important is it to actually learn the basics? And has this new technology actually um, hindered the art form in itself? Basically, uh, I think uh, 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 when, when, you, when you take something uh, in an easy way or you got some ease in a process, that uh, the, the ultimate product lose uh, the actual, uh, 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 you can say, depth. Okay. Right. Exactly. That is what happened with photography. Mm -hmm. Tools are sophisticated, easy to use, but in the same, uh, the same time, uh, youngster become non-serious about learning the art mm -hmm. itself. So uh, uh, most of the time uh, uh, when I um, sit with the youngsters or even some budding photographers. Elderly people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They talk about gear, DSLR. What you said? DSLR. 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 They don't even know what DSLR stands for. They don't know. Okay. So what happens is that pictures are coming out, but without any impact, okay. yeah. especially the youngsters. <coughs> so I think the first question which uh, every photographer or every youngster must ask mm. himself that why he is taking photographs, yeah. what he want to do, mm -hmm. what are his motives. Okay. So just get the camera and uh, uh, be a part of crowd is and I, I think not justified. Okay. But sir, you know what, what I wanted to ask right now is that going back in 1995, that means that you actually had cameras which had those rolls within them as well. Yes. And photography was I quite difficult those. and then you had to develop them and then you it's couldn't fun. really put the pictures within the computer or probably forge no. the actual image as well. But then at the same time, how has your practice evolved 
with the evolution of technology? More than that. Uh, uh, we started with, uh, uh, with very basic camera. Uh, even they were not uh, auto camera. They were totally <laughs> manual, totally yeah. manual. Yeah. And very basic. Uh, and then you had we, to roll it up as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah. And films of uh, different ISO. For every situation, we have to use the different films. The films are costly. Then we have to uh, develop ourselves or go to the uh, labs. Very few labs were there. And the, 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 uh, there was. Uh, what they call uh, the dark room. The yeah. process. Uh, yes. And now there is. Processing was very yes. So uh, uh, most of the, uh, like most of the photographers, uh, senior photographers, I also started uh, a dark room. Okay. And uh, a part of uh, my room, uh, I spared for that. Yeah. And uh, we all had. There was that. always had, uh, uh, some. I've done that. <laughs> we had yeah. enough photography. Yeah. Yeah. Even I've done so that. Fun. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And uh, uh, one thing uh, is that uh, there was always a fight in the house. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. so Sitting in the dark room all day long. Uh, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, th that was a crazy time. Okay, yeah. so, that but that, I mean, that kind of really puts you into the mind. And, Absolutely. You know, you have exactly. to really that was so, great uh, time of learning. Exactly. Uh, so, exactly. sir, I'd like to ask you, um, you know, now you've seen it evolve. You've, mm -hmm. been, in the, you've been doing this for over 30 years. Um, do you like the change to technological advancement so do you think it's actually what are your thoughts on this on the same question see i personally feel that if you if the technology uh, gives you something and it doesn't take away from the spirit of uh, the art form mm -hmm. then it should be made use of okay okay uh, otherwise uh, uh, the industry that creates all these uh, gadgets and equipments they would close down Exactly. They're providing you something. F they don't instill in you uh, a concept uh, of an art f uh, photograph. Mm -hmm. It just gives you, the gadget gives you certain, uh, you know, uh, in the camera itself, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, it, it provides you with the, um, uh, certain buttons and okay. knobs. Yeah. Which you can make use of, yeah. uh, for instance, auto focusing. Uh, That's a a subject uh, mm. uh, ne uh, wasn't there as uh, uh, Professor Azak uh, yes. just mentioned, yeah. and we had to sort of at times uh, uh, measure the distance. If you remember, long time back, even in the film era, uh, people used to take a tape, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Uh, to the subject and then fix the uh, distance uh, yeah. uh, on the on the lens yeah. itself. So now if that is being provided by, you know, pressing one small button, it should be made use Half of. Okay. of it so some things are useful and convenient Absolutely. and some things no, But there's one more thing we, which we I want to We need to look at that for Yeah, I will do that. But one last <laughs> thing before we go to, uh, or move on towards your pictures. Now that is, do you believe, you know, since you're a photographer yourself, but do you believe in all of those filters which are available or do you use different treatment techniques within, you know, do you edit those pictures as well or you don't believe in it? Well, no, I do. Okay. Uh, Primarily because uh, the uh, Photographic Art Society of, uh, of America came up with uh, an answer to all this, uh, you know, gossip that uh, went around whether uh, any treatment should be given to a particular image or not. Mm -hmm. And they said that the criteria uh, they laid down, and it's the largest society, photographic site in the world, yeah. they said the photograph should be taken with a camera and the final result should be printed on a photographic paper. In between, whatever happens, they're not concerned with it. Okay, wow. wonderful. So it allows you, a lot, you know, of a, a, a lot of margin. You do whatever wonderful. you please. That's uh, great. Excellent. Mm. And so on that note, let's have a look at some of the work so that you can, whoever's going to go today can see what they can do. Exactly. Expect. And so you will actually let us know where it was taken how was it? So we are looking at... Um, this I took uh, in Jaipur, uh, the famous uh, uh, fort there, uh, Amber Fort, uh, that's what the name. And I spotted this uh, uh, pigeon. Yeah. pigeon sitting yeah. there Enjoying with the a broken uh, jali, you know. This has been uh, one of my favorite uh, pictures called Beautiful. Four Shepherds. It is uh, I hope it's not before Bakraib. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Moving on. Yeah. Wow. This where, was very nice. This where was, was this? taken at uh, Mirpur Ghas, uh, where I spotted these uh, ladies, you know, and it's called uh, uh, 
what is it called caring life's burden oh, yeah. okay very no, nice life's burden. Yeah. this is also one of my favorites this is also taken in third as it oh beautiful yeah. the colors are <coughs> yeah, this, this is surprising uh, oh, wow. generally people are coming very from uh, well, this, these are very like proper backgrounds man these are um and the thing is you learn so much about these areas as well through these yes. photography look at the yeah. depth of the picture as well you can see it from yeah. television that's yeah. what the beauty is mashallah exactly this is what these are coolies at uh, oh, okay. rail, uh, rawalpindi railway station wonderful this i took it's actually a vertical picture and uh, it's not uh, yeah it's not complete complete okay. but this is at Hagia Sophia in uh, Istanbul. Oh, wonderful. Uh, where I was there recently. Okay. We're going really fast. We need to slow down with <laughs> yeah. the changes. So slow down, guys. People need to see this. Yeah. Okay, and this was taken? Uh, this is uh, the, the Rower Fort in Morocco. And uh, this is on the BBC uh, uh, Seven Undiscovered Wonders of the World. Yes. Wow. It's yeah. one of those pictures. I thought I recognized this. Yeah. Wow. wow. This is uh, Vatican. Okay, yeah. and the final and the staircase leading to uh, Sistine Chapel. Wow. Okay, Beautiful wonderful. Life. That's wonderful. Yeah. And you. you know, anyone who goes will can expect to see some of these <laughs> photo uh, photographs yes, there at the exactly. exhibition. Yes, All of today. them are there. They're yeah. all there actually. So that's yeah. that is and, and, and more, <laughs> lots, lots yeah, more. The best mm. thing for this exhibition is that there's a variety of subject mat matters, and it's like very interesting. You you can see uh, r uh, urban area, rural area, and different part uh, parts of the world. So it's not only what related wow. to a single subject. And okay. now what we'll do is that okay, we'll, we'll actually we'll move on to the student of the maestro as well. Yes. <laughs> 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 so, so Mr. Akshar, you have to share your experiences as well and when it was taken. So let's go on with that. Please, if Mr. Producer, whenever you're ready, we are ready as well. Go ahead. Mr. Akshar, you ready? Yeah. Yes. Wow. It's from Madhul Alasen in Lahore. Okay. And uh, the devotee women. It's a rural life. Like she's the master of uh, rural uh, yes. landscape. Basically, wow. uh, that's In my environment. Landscape. I'm shooting that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the rising of moon. I actually feel like you can feel it. In yeah. the pots. So yeah. the, the, the pottery, uh, which is just dying art. Mm. Yeah. It's a desert, thal, thal desert, basically. Mm. Uh, wow, Fisherman's. Is beautiful Narabi, composition. Very few. Where is this? Basically, it's from uh, uh, Ravi, uh, uh, near uh, River Ravi, right? Exactly, near, near Okada. The farmer That's coming back in the morning after watering their or irrigating their fields. Uh, and it's cold. Oh, so, uh, wow. mm -hmm. That mosque is in front of my house, and uh, I mm -hmm. took a lot of pictures of that. People are now familiar yeah. with that. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. The stars. Yes. The yeah. farmer. That's my orchard. And uh, that farmer was sitting under the uh, uh, tree doing just the casual mango. thing. <laughs> exactly. No. Uh, a father is carrying uh, her daughter, yeah. uh, showing uh, some type of religious profession. Very Wonderful. Nice. Exactly. Farmer wow. Very nice. watering uh, field or irrigating in the. I just realized how yeah. awful my photos are. That's, uh, 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 <laughs> that's a popular uh, uh, car race. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's happening and still happening. Yes. In many parts. Those uh, images are absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. That's I mean, wonderful. I would love to visit your houses sometime. <laughs> <laughs> no, always that's welcome. the best place to take a look at all of them. Okay, always wow. welcome. Because then, you know, for example, if you've taken a picture which is so beautiful, you actually know where to put it as well. Exactly. So when you look at it that, oh, in that field, wow, man. Personally, I think <laughs> that you can, uh, I normally I plead that, uh, uh, and I ask my students to shoot your environment. Yeah. Okay. Yes. You can shoot it better, and you have the responsibility also to shoot that, to show the world, the beauty of your land, of your environment, of yeah. your people. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm doing. Okay. Wow. Absolutely, and you're really capturing it, and it's yeah. you know even I'm seeing these images, and I feel like I want to go to these places exactly, to actually exactly. feel it. Um, that I would like to add. Yes. yes, I would like to add something. For photographers, I think the best thing is your frame. Mm -hmm. 
and it's it's such a quick medium you have to be like accurate um, about your composition about your exactly. frame and in a in a second no you don't have to think much but you have to be very quick mm. in capturing the yeah but then at the same time you know for all those youngsters who are out there obviously you know we've got the right people over here in the studios you can definitely learn you can go to the exhibition as well you can meet them please do that if you are interested in photography as well and Seriously. if you're just carrying a DSLR please <laughs> don't bother I mean honestly well, they're not looking for something yeah. okay but um, I want to ask uh, uh, you know one final uh, another question uh, for you sir how important is it um, for the new generation actually to have some sort of guidance or me uh, mentorship because you know the coffee bo uh, table books that you've done they're fantastic the classes that you're doing are fantastic but how important is it? Because I think people don't really realize. And where can we get those books from, for example, if people are interested? From me. Who was <laughs> <laughs> for a starter? Yeah, okay, yeah. great. Uh, you see, there, there's uh, no alternative uh, uh, to you know getting some serious lessons before you start photography. Unfortunately, as I was men um, I mentioned earlier. Most people uh, tend to think that uh, since they own uh, DSLR or <laughs> whatever, uh, they also know photography because they've uh, seen some lessons on YouTube yeah. and uh, yes, share pictures uh, on the on the Facebook, and they think that is good enough. You know, there are certain tools that uh, you know they master, yeah. and uh, add a lot of color, a lot of uh, you know brightness and uh, mm. contrast and and the pictures seemingly look nice you know yeah but is that art photography mm. no it is not uh, the, it entails much more than that right. so you have to sit down and i've always uh, preached this that you need to you know get hold of somebody whom you can trust a good uh, 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 photographer and get your lessons from him right. ba the basics right you need to know the rules of photography and you need to acquire the skill uh, to handle in, uh, the equipment. Okay. Uh, those are the prerequisites. And then I also mentioned uh, in my book that uh, what makes uh, a good photograph and what makes uh, you, uh, you know, something uh, uh, a better photographer than most mm. uh, and it is very very easy uh, in the words of uh, a very famous <laughs> photographer he said that uh, uh, you need to look for interesting uh, things from uh, let me see uh, sure. I shouldn't get it wrong okay. uh, finding something interesting from an ordinary place okay you know now for that what you need to have eye of is the vision. Gold, sir. Eye of the <laughs> gold. That's what it is. And it all comes yeah. And it's like uh, very well summed up as well. But one last thing, a very naughty question indeed. Oh, gosh. Mm. <laughs> and that is that, you know, since you're such an amazing photographer, you are too. Do people come over to you, you know, your family members that, you know, I'm getting married, so please, would you mind taking a few portraits of us? Yes. <laughs> Did you do that then? <laughs> no. <laughs> I used to, long time back, okay. because uh, I also uh, ran a studio for about five years, wow. a professional uh, studio. But then it was not my cup of tea, so I gave it up, closed yeah. shop, and said, no, thank you very much. Uh, I want to concentrate o only on art photography. Wow. And uh, so that, that chapter is closed. But yes, mm. everybody comes to it. As a matter of fact, I lost a lot of friends uh, uh, because when I told them that I don't do this stuff, mm. they said uh, perhaps I'm making it up and, you know, uh, since I own uh, better quality cameras, <laughs> so I'm trying to avoid it because I'm not, I'll not be paid for that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Everyone wants a free uh, yeah. ride. Don't so they? people, please That's do right. not bug free anymore. Me. I mean, yeah. that, that was a clear statement. Exactly. But thank you very much, guys, for coming thank over. Thank you so superb. much for your time. And ladies and gentlemen, before we wrap up, once again, Eye of the Beholder, you know, and it's you by must check it Mr. Out. Sami. And uh, it'll be today. The inauguration show is today at 4 p.m. And it will be till 30th of September as well. And do they need invitations as well or anybody can no, come? Can is come. it like open? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, they can they can say you know they can um, it's uh, not exactly open okay. but for security reasons they have to say, okay so can you share any contact details or any facebook pages where, where yeah, people can contact yeah it's the event is on the facebook and yeah. they can contact me 
later on? Facebook.com yeah. concert art, art gallery. gallery. So you can go right over there if you want to be a part of this exhibition as well. One last so, uh, yes, word I wanted to say, and it's one of my favorite quotes sure. uh, yes. about art photography. So. Uh, and it says, it is not what you see in the picture mm. or at the picture, but what the photographer wants you to see. Mm. Wow. That is what makes art photography. Okay. And that, that is, is his you know, view of the world. Wonderful. And he wants to share that with you, and you need to, you know, look things from his perspective. Wonderful. That is what we call content as well. Exactly. Great. One thing more. Exactly. Yes. Photography is a power now. Mm. Photography is now changing the world, yeah. changing the opinion of the world. So mm. photography is just now not only an art form, mm. but photography day by day has become powerful. It's becoming yeah, it's, a platform. It, absolutely. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for your time and I hope the exhibition goes well, which I have no doubt about it will. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so um, much. So Thank you. this was us discussing art photography and there is a difference. And, you know, I went up to Hunza um, a couple yeah. of weeks ago and I, I thought... I never came back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, my soul never came back. But, um, you know, those photos, you did lacks the depth, it lacks the things. So having education, having some sort of teaching behind you is very important. Exactly it is. And this is how you learn your basics as well. This is how you develop your core. And then once your core is developed, you can actually build 100 stories building as exactly. well. Exactly. And of it. when you have such supportive people in the industry as well, then, you know, the youngsters can definitely do well. So do, with that, you log on to our Facebook fan page. Which is with the name of World This Morning. Our Twitter page. World This Morning without a G. Our Daily Motion and YouTube World page. World This Morning once again. And the repeat is at? 5 past 11 p.m. Have a wonderful day. We will see you bright and early tomorrow. Exactly. Till the next time. One, two, three. Good, Good morning. morning.